we immediately started talking about shooting One Night Stand season two when we wrapped in harm's way. Glad you decided to come with me. You made the right choice. We're family. And me and John were just bouncing ideas off each other, like what, what we were gonna do, all these new characters, what characters we were gonna bring back. All of a sudden, all, all of us looking at each other, about to, you know, pretty much rock and roll and do this. You know, you just know you're gonna have a lot of fun. So it was like, all right, here we go. Hearing about season two happening, I, I realized that this was gonna be something for me as an actor that I, I hadn't had the privilege of, of being a part of before, which was having, having played a character and then having the chance to play that character again with new material. Do you realize you just shot the most evil, powerful man in the city? Please, Ricky just killed that teddy bear. It's been nuts. It's been uh, many, I mean, the script was long, six episodes uh, comprised of 90 pages, uh, which typically is like a, you know, feature length film. Shot uh, like 90 pages in 13 days. It's brilliant. Oh, a lot of years off my life on that. It's just, there's lots of days where I just, I mean, pulled all-nighters. So it was a whirlwind. It was like a, it was a running a marathon at a, at a sprinter's pace. Um, it was fun, but it was tiring. Um, you know, halfway through, I, you didn't really know where you were. You needed to be reminded where you were in the episodes, in the, in the script. So, since you're up, why don't you make us some fresh cocktails? When you open up to uh, the first episode, you know, you find them. He's in the Hollywood Hills, you know, he's got a girl with him, of course. Daisy, make Ricky famous. Ricky, you already are famous. Um, my mom hated it. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends of Max, is, is he around? You mean Chester! Yeah, you're friends of Chester's! Good, we love having the friends over, come on! I have a wife, um, out of rehab, and basically sobered up and mellowed out. It really sucks being me. You're right, Paul. It does. Well, I think a lot of people can identify with Paul's journey. I mean, he obviously having an ex-wife, you know, he's had some failures in his life, obviously as well, you know, and um, the relationship with his father is not exactly what it is. You know, you've got kind of this fantasy relationship that, you know, he wants it to be, but in all reality, it's not. Shut up. Come down here and face me like a spitz. Daddy, I accept your apology. Uh, my character, I play Ace Storm, the, the bass player. He's kind of like the den mother. He's, he's always going to be frustrated with the guys, but like he, he, he needs them. Like Ace is a really uptight person, and he kind of needs them to like let loose a little bit. It's almost like he needs to like babysit them to feel whole. You know, episode one, I got to work with uh, Aaron Corteau and, and Brady and John Florence. And, and then, of course, you know, we have the little run-in with uh, Brent Starry's character, Blake Baxter. That was really intense to shoot. You know, I got to work a lot with Nate Timichek in, in that. He plays Jason Lash. Did someone mention pie? Just more madness. More violence. More craziness. The cast and crew have become more, more like a family to me, you know? But it was really like getting together and hanging out with a bunch of friends again and doing a ton of fun stuff and you know you wrote great material for all of us to shoot. Being back with the guys is, is pretty much just you know it's like we didn't even skip a beat. It's always fun with those guys. I think that uh, I think we gel really well you know I mean we've worked on enough stuff and we know each other well enough. You know we started out working together and everyone has gotten kind of you know really close so We've almost become like one night stand. Being back with the boys, there's an amazing chemistry between the four of us where it's just like, you know, it'd be like, oh, did you study your script last night? I don't know, not really, like blah, blah, blah. But we just go in, and it's like we just know it because we kind of are these characters. Life mimics art. <laughs> I wish I could work with those guys every day. I just couldn't be happier with it. I, I think every episode is awesome in its, in its own way. Um, they're, they're all very different than one another, but they're all just great and they all really work. I hope it ends up, honestly, on TV. I hope it ends up, you know, so that everybody can uh, have a chance to see it. I, I love this stuff. This is probably my most favorite stuff we shoot. I hope people find it interesting. I, I hope that, I mean, I wish I, we could do a season three. 
you know, if I hope people like it enough that we can. If the sky turns black, it don't matter We know the sun is coming up Feel so strong, it won't shatter We were born to run Sky turns black, it won't matter Feel so strong, won't shatter We were born to run 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 So, here's the O&S, man. Season two.